What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang, and this tutorial is going to be a quick one because you should have already watched the uh, tutorial number one with the sub already, so now I'm just recording tutorial number two right here. Um, you are going to focus on Premiere Pro, and then you are going to go to the audio workspace by clicking here, workspace, go to audio, and then once you're in the audio workspace, you're going to click on here and then go into audio track mixer. After you click on Audio Track Mixer, you're going to click on this right here to twirl the effects rack down. All right, now this effects rack is for audio track number one. So this is audio track number one. This effects rack right here is for audio track number two. You're gonna leave these alone. You're only gonna mess with one. And uh, this is number three, so it affects number three. And this is number four, so it affects number four. But you're only gonna focus on track one. First thing you're going to have to do here is go to uh, noise and then click on denoise. This will denoise the entire track one right here. All right, let me just make it wider. This whole track right here, A1, is going to be denoised. And then you're going to go to the uh, EQ. You're going to parametric equalizer. And then you are going to double click on the parametric equalizer. And then you're going to come over here and click on this. And then you're going to click on vocal enhancer. All right. So this is a good enough um, audio editing for the sound of track one. You can uh, modify these things right here. Uh, if you go back and watch the previous lesson, it'll show you how to EQ the voice to make it sound the way you want it to sound. So these are, this is where you, know, you can make your voice sound deeper, sound more punchy, whatever it is, like high pitch, all the other stuff. The next one, uh, and then once you're done with this, go ahead and close out of it. Then the next thing is to stack a compression. Okay, you're going to do a single band compressor. The single band compressor, click, double click on single band compressor, and then you're going to choose voice thickener. And then you're just going to modify the loudness, output gain, and the ratio. Okay, the ratio just does this to the sound. The low sounds can be boosted up, and the high sound can be brought down or the low sound can be, again, boosted up just a little bit, or the high voice can be brought down just a little bit. It's a ratio. That is the reason why you learn the mathematics and what a ratio is. And then the next thing here is to adjust the output gain. Output gain just means how loud it is, right? You want it to be louder or you want it to be softer, right? So what you're going to do here is just apply these, play it, listen to it, see if you like it. Once you like it, get out of it, and then you're good to go. So you're going to be leveling audio just like that for track number one and leave track number two alone. Audio track number two is a backup plan. Just in case if you don't like audio track number one, you can mute it, and then you can use two instead. And if you're like, I'm good with number one, mute number two because you don't need it. Or you can match the two together, and it'll sound the way you want it to sound. It all depends on you. So that is it. That is how you do... Um, audio adjustment for one single track. Now you can also do this for track two if you want to modify and mix with track two and track one. But again, we're just doing this part right here for audio track one, A1, all right? That's what we're doing. And I think that's it. That's all I need to explain. Adjust and modify each parameter until you like it to your ears. And then you can you know, use the effects right here, turn it on and turn it off. Listen to it, play it back, listen to it, play it back, and modify and adjust until you like it. You can sit here and do this all day long, but just get it good enough for now. Okay? All right. You know how we say goodbye. Rock, paper, peace. All right, I'm going to stop recording now.